Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I got an array of uh, beers in front of me. These are from Audi. This is basically Audi's budget range or their knockoff range. Um, missing two, however. Uh, Saint Saint Etna. It's a it's like a knockoff of Stella Artois, and there's another green one. I think it's a knockoff of Heineken. Uh, the reasons why I didn't get them is because those came in big slabs. You couldn't get them single, and I wasn't about to pay twenty euro for them. However, I had I did do a review on the uh, knockoff one of Stella Artois, and I did a taste test with the one that looked like Heineken. So I'll put those links to that video in the description, and you can see what I thought of it. Uh, however, so I basically I got all of Audi's budget ones minus two. And I do apologize for that, but look, 20 euro, I can spend, I can spend it on, a, on some good uh, German beer compared to some shite. All right, so what am I going to do? I am going to go ahead and we're going to do a, uh, well, I'm going to do, you're going to watch if you watch it, uh, a taste test. Which of Audi's uh, budget beers are the best? How do they score? Are they worth buying? Um, to me, I don't buy, if, if I bought anything out of these ones, it's usually this one. Um, it's, I think it's, it's like a French one. It's supposed to be French. My son likes them. They're real small. They're only 4%. And that's the only reason is because the size of them. I, I've had the, I've had, I haven't had the, the other, I haven't had, uh, I haven't had this one or the two Italian knockoffs, and I've had these ones. We're going to go ahead and start off with this one. So this is called, it's just called Brasserie. <laughs> that's, that's the name of it. Now, um, imported premium lager. It's 4%. 4%. So we're going to go ahead and we'll crack this one open and get a look at it. All right. Now, these are all room temperature. So we'll do a hard pour. And we'll throw this one to the back of the line. Let's take a look at that. So here we go. On the SRM. Yeah, 14. It's got this gold, gold look, a little copper in it. Nice multi smell of a, a, a like you would a Pilsner. I got that grainy smell. Maybe a little bit of honey and bread. It's a bit, it's a bit bitter up front. It's easy drinking. Better than Budweiser. I tell you that. Better than a Bud Light. But appearance wise, I, it's three out of three. Aroma, I'll give that, uh, look, I'm going to give that a seven out of 12. Flavor wise, it's a basic Pilsner, seven out of 20. Mouthfeel, all right, three out of five. Overall, out of 10, I give that a five out of 10. So we got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, we got 25, 25 out of 50. It comes out as a good beer. Moving on, folks. Steinhauser. Steinhauser, actually. German lager. Brewed in corners with the German Reinheitsgebot of 1516. Lager. Um, this, this is brewed in Frankfurt, Germany. So it's probably contracted out to some kind of big brewery in Germany. They probably brews beers. Whoever wants to give it to them. 4.7%, 330 mil, and you get this in the case of, I think about, it was eight, six or eight. There we go. Not bad looking brew. Now, I've had it before, folks, so 
but it's been a while. I'm going to be fair with it. There we go. That's a nice looking clear beer. Nice gold color straw. Uh, yeah, nice, nice bright goldy color. Nice small bubbles, nice white small bubbles on it. SRM, look, we're looking around like a five on that. Let's get an aroma. I get nice fresh grain. I get honey. I get the bread. Nice smell in this. Really nice. Already better than a Bud Light. All right, folks. Prost. Taste wise, it's got that grainy sweetness to it. There's nothing funky, nothing metallic about it. It's actually okay. I get a taste of honey. I get a taste of like white bread crust. I get bitterness in the back end of it. It's refreshing, it's crisp. I got no problem with it. Okay. So the appearance, I think it's a pretty beer. I'll give that top marks, three out of three. Aroma wise, it had this nice honey smell to it. I'm gonna give that a nice uh, nine out of 12. Flavor wise, full flavor. It is nice, it is a great beer. Um, nice honey, bready taste. I'm gonna give that 11 out of 20. Because there's a bit of bitterness on the end of it. It's light body, it's a light lager. It's good though. Mouthfeel. I get four out of five. Overall, I think this beer is a good. Uh, it's actually kind of delicious after drinking that one. It's a very big improvement. I give it a seven out of ten. A thirty-four out of fifty. And we're looking at a very good beer for Steinhäuser. Prost for it. On. We have a beer here called. I'm not gonna move everything. Reinbacher. Now, Reinbacher is Audi's German beer. I'm pissed off with Audi. Audi, 10 or 15 years ago, they um, used to have a good selection, man. These Spaten used to be their main German beer. And they had English beers. They had Hobgoblin. They had, um, they had um, uh, Old Hen. Is that called Old Hen? Old Speckled Hen. And uh, man, they had a good selection. Now they, they've gone to shit. Even their craft beer. I'm going to do a craft beer thing further on down the road. But uh, recently I was at Audi headquarters in Nace in Ireland. Um, They're looking for taste testers for new food that was going to be uh, put into their shops. So I put application in. And... Well, what being but boom, there I am. I'm taste testing an Audi. Great food that they got coming in there for, for Audi. I like Audi. Um, so I took the <laughs> little cheeky me, uh, took the time to, uh, well, took, took the time, took the advantage and said, uh, um, all right, your, your beer selection. I, basically, I told the, 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 uh, the buying director that uh, uh, their beer selection sucks. That's basically what I said to her. Uh, I said, your wine selection is excellent, which they do have a good, but their beer selection is terrible. Compared to Little, compared to Tesco's and all that, shite. There's no variety. They're all IPAs. They're all knockoffs. They're crap. Um, now, I know Audi is a, look, it's not an off-license. It's not a distributor. They're not there to sell beer. They have a ver food and everything else they're not their main purpose isn't to please me as a beer drinker i understand that but please get some better beers in so this is what pushed me to say listen these are the beers that they have they're cheap they're knockoffs from other beers in my opinion um so, so far we've had two good beers so actually maybe someone doesn't know what they're talking about however I don't like knockoff beers. I want to drink, I don't know, I don't know, something that comes from an independent brewery. I don't want something that's contracted. Even if it tastes good, I think we all want that. We all judge a book by its cover. 
Uh, let's just be honest. All right, this is 5%. This is Reinbacher Weiss beer. Now, Reinbacher is brewed, of course, with a German period. Also, it is a German beer. So, is it brewed in Bavaria? I wouldn't think so, but it's produced for England and Ireland. And they don't tell you where it's brewed at. And um, I don't like that. Tell me where it's going to be brewed at, all right? If it's in Germany, let me know what brewery it is. So here we go. Ryan Bacher's Weiss beer. For a wheat beer. Let me see if we can get the yeast in it. All right. It kind of looks weird, a wheat beer to me, in a pint glass. That looks off. But you do got that dark, almost like a Schneider Weiss look to it. It's a real dark wheat beer, like a brown on copper rust color. Nice head on it. Nice white bubbles. Smell wise, we got a nice German Weiss beer smell. We got banana. That smells pretty good. Looks like it's about a 24. I got banana. I got spice. Basically, it's what you'd look for in a good wheat beer. All right, folks, prost. Very thin for a German Weiss beer, in my opinion. The body is really thin. I can't even call it light. I have to call it thin. Uh, it's a bit bitter. For a German beer, it's too bitter. It's bland. The taste is lacking. It's not a very good a vice beer, and I'm a vice beer drinker. It's not very good, I have to say. It's weak, and I don't taste it. I get bitterness and a bit of dryness. Okay. Appearance I thought was great. I'll give it top marks, zero to three. Aroma, so I like a vice beer. I thought it was great. I'm gonna give that a eight out of 12. Flavor was lacking was bland i'm going to give that a four out of 20 that's going to be bad mouthfeel very thin carbonation was good give it a three out of five overall as a wheat beer i gotta give that a four out of 10 16 17 18 19 20 22 it's a 22 out of 50 <laughs> so Look, there was two points higher than being called crap. It's a good beer. And here we have what we call, or they, well, what they call Strana Pilsner. I think this is their knockoff of, was it Stero Premen or Strama Premen? It's a Czech beer. Um, where is this made at now? Pierce Lions Brewery. This is brewed in Ireland. All right, so we got Czech style beer. Brewed in Ireland at 5%. Here we go. Strata Pilsner. Um, looks good. Looks pretty. Nice pretty beer. The The head looks nice. Nice and foamy. Dishwatery on... Uh, yeah, bubbly dishwatery on top. A hood up. We're putting a hood up, guys. Sorry about that. All right, so... <sighs> Smells nice. Smells like a nice little Pilsner there. Oh, not bad at all. Got a little bit of lemon citrus smell to it. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit of citrus in that. Some grain, some honey. <coughs> Sorry, SRM. Looks around an eight. <coughs> all right, folks. Light body. Carbonation is balanced. Now, again, it's got the flavors there. It's got honey flavors, grain. You got all these flavors, but they're muted. They're really down low. It's a shame. <clears throat> Only way I can think is somehow they've cut the grain bill in half, maybe. Because it's a, it's actually, it could be a tasty beer. I'd like to see maybe everything doubled in it. I think that would really bring it out. 
All right, so appearance, three out of three. Aroma, I thought it was great. I get that eight out of 12. Flavor, it's there, but it's bland. It's weak. Um, however, I'll give that, I'll give that 10 out of 20. <clears throat> Mouthfeel. That's crushable. Be good for a barbecue, cutting a lawn. And I like the ABV of 5%. I think it's great. I'm going to give that 5 out of 5. Overall, 7 out of 10, folks. So what we got? <clears throat> we got we got 33 out of 50, giving us a very good beer status. Okay, y'all. We're back. I am under pressure. I got a rain cloud coming in. I got a wife when she's a hot tub. I'm freezing my ass off. I try to get through some beers that I wouldn't normally buy. All right. So, what are we going to do? Do, 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 do? We're going to go ahead and go with this one called Bera Mapelli. Made with German and Austrian barley. So, to me, this is a knockoff of Moretti. Okay? I guess you can you, you get the, the idea, don't you? Um, 4.6%. Is it brewed in Italy? I would say not. I will look it up. And I will let you go. Bad boy. Right. <clears throat> Sun's going down. I got to get this shit done. All right. Nice goldy color. Pretty beer. Nothing <clears throat> alive in there floating. Nice white head. Looks pretty. Nice smell. Oh, well, uh, ba -doo -doo -doo. we're looking at around uh, 8 SRM. Smell-wise, nice, bready uh, <clears throat> smell, nice honey smell. A little bit of grain in that, all fresh grain. Smells really fresh. Nice smelling beer now, I got to say. This is my first time having this one. I never had this. Okay, folks. <clears throat> Salute. It's a good beer, right? Like all these beers, they're all good, but it's like they're cut in half. The flavor is, they're weak. It's bland. Um, I, I guess you're going to do that. If you're going to go the extra mile, you're going to have to pay more. This is cut down as a budget beer. Uh, the taste is there. You got the grain. You got the honey taste. You got that bread taste. The bitterness is slight on the back end, and I like something like that. That's nice. It's slight. Light light body. <sighs> barbecue beer. Right here. That's a barbecue beer. All right, appearance. Three out of three. Aroma. I thought it was nice. It's like a honey beer. I'm going to give that a eight out of 12. Flavor. It's cut in half. I'm going to give it a 6. If it was any better, I would give it a 12. Okay? Mouthfeel, 4 out of 5. Overall, for what you're getting in Audi, I'm going to... That's a 7 out of a 10, guys. So, <clears throat> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, that's a 28 out of 50. We're looking at a good beer, okay? It's gone. We're looking at <laughs> Rossini. To me, this is a knockoff of Peroni. That's what I think it is. I don't know. It's a it's a lager. Uh, beer name is Ross <laughs> Rossini. Um, where is it brewed at? Well, it says no. It says imported from Italy, Italian lager. Doesn't let you know what brewery. I think they should have it on, on the label. Anyways, it's five percent, and I'll look it up, and then we'll find out where it's at. All right. It's the same uh, bottle cap as that. It's got a hops. So these guys are made in the same brewery. Okay. So I just got to look up one. I'm sure I'll find the other. 
So let's take a look. I'm gonna put a logger into a Pilsner glass because that's what I had sitting in there. Oh, nice light color, gold light logger. SRM there, that's like a freaking five. <clears throat> nice big white head. There you go, can you see it? There you go. Nice fresh grain smell, I like that. Nice and fresh. Got the honey, I smell the honey and the bread. Typical lager smell for me, fresh grains and that. There you go. A bit more pilsnery than that one. A little bit more flavor, a little bit more depth. Actually enjoyable. I get the grain. I get the bread more. I get the honey more. I get a bit of nut. A little bit bitter. It's all right. Appearance-wise, folks, I think it's a pretty beer. I get a top marks to a three. Aroma. It's a nice inviting lager. It would make me want to drink that during a barbecue season. I would give that a uh, 8 out of 12. Flavor-wise, it's a little bumped up than the other one. I'll go out of 8 out of 20. Mouthfeel. Very good. 4 out of 5. Overall, 8 out of 10. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, 31 out of 50 is a very good score for uh, Rossini. All right, folks, we're working on our way. Three more beers left. Looks like a Carlsberg. So this is their knockoff. Uh, brewed in France. So they say it right on there. 4.3%. Uh, brewed for Audi. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Uh, my wife likes Carlsberg, so we always have a Carlsberg in the fridge. Sometimes, well, a lot of times we do. All right. Again, all room temperature there, folks. So, here we go. <sighs> Big white head on that. Nice looking beer. Can't get away from that. That's a great beer. And looks like a nine on the SRM to me. Big white frothy head. Sticking around. Ain't going nowhere in a hurry. All right. 4.3%. Let's get a smell. I get smell of cold tea. Not really agreeing with me. And that's all I get. Maybe a little bit time citrus, but I, it's, I can't even, I'm not even going to mark that down because it's, I'm really hunting that. All right, folks, here we go. Um, bland grain taste. It's cold tea in the background, but it's nothing to really... You wouldn't catch it unless you were looking for it. I only looked for it because I smelled it. Get a little taste of honey. It's not bad. It's actually a good lawnmower beer. This is a lawnmower beer. The bitterness is slight. So, appearance. Three out of three. They look beautiful. Aroma. It's a nice sweet honey smell. It's nice. It's inviting. Eight out of 12. Flavor. A little bit bitter on the end. This is something I enjoy. Probably not, but it is good. It's not something that I like. So I got to be fair with this. I'm going to give that 10 out of 20. Mouthfeel, I'm going to give that 3 out of 5. Overall, this is a 7 out of 10. 20, 28, 31. So I got 31 out of 50. I guess this is a very good beer. All right, guys, welcome back. We're bound to our last two beers. Thank goodness. Uh... Galahad. This is probably one of their. I don't. I don't know if this is a knockoff of anything. Four percent. Galahad Premium Lager. Uh, four percent style lager, and the origin is who makes it for them. Uh, produced for. I think it's in England. I don't know. I'll have to look all this shit up. It might be an English brewery that makes it for them. 
I've drank it before. I don't think I thought it was that bad. I thought it was actually pretty good. But we'll double check it. And here we go. I got a pint glass. Let's do this. Let's get this over with, folks. Nice color lager. Looks pretty. Nice gold color. Goldy straw. What are we looking at? Ooh, around a, maybe a 10 on the SRM. And a nice white head. Small bubbles. Kind of frothy on top. That looks good. And let's get the smell of the aroma. Very slight, very slight grain. Nothing really to write home about. And maybe a little bit of bread. That's about it. Can't really judge more about that. So, the appearance looks pretty. It's a nice beer. Three out of three. Aroma. It was all right. I get that 7 out of 12. Flavor. Here we go, guys. Very bland. I mean, more flavor than a Bud Light. I have to use Bud Light as a uh, as a baseline because Bud Light sucks. And it's just like water. This has flavor. Just probably about five points up from Bud Light. And... Slight grain, slight honey, slight bread again. Bitterness is really sl slight. Real light in body. Flavor, eh, really lacking. Six out of 20. Mouthfeel, pretty good. Three out of five. Overall, Look, barbecue beer, you don't want to get tanked. Maybe, look, if you're smoking a brisket and you're going to do this for 12 hours, then this is the beer for you. So, with that being said, I'll give that a 6 out of 10 overall. So, we got 6, 12, 18. So, we got 25 out of 50, which gives it a good rating. Okay? So, there we go. We got that out. Finally, our last one. 4.5% ABV. No. And it is a, it's a pills. <laughs> Brewed in accordance with the German purity law. So this should be made in Frankfurt. All right. So I'm just going to crack this open and get it over with. <laughs> Oh, 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 my fans are on. Can't feel my hands, baby. Can't feel my hands. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Here we go. I'll tell you what. Fuck it. The wind is coming down this direction, and it is killing me. All right, so here we go, folks. Nice looking uh, Pilsner, wouldn't you say? Nice gold, goldy look there to it. SRM on that. It comes to me is about an 8. Uh, no, I take that back. I take that back. I look at the wrong thing. Um, I say a 5. Okay. Honey aroma. Slight grain. A little bit of bread crust. All right, here we go. Taste is very bitter. It's very thin bodied. This is very um, unflavorful. Um, it's unenjoyable, to be honest with you. I really don't like this beer. It's very. Um, Ah, it's like water. Yeah, it's like a Budweiser with hops <laughs> at the end of it, you know, uh, bittering hops. Um, 
I'm done with that. That's that's it's not good. A pear was three out of three. Aroma a seven out of twelve. Flavor two out of twenty, guys. Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. A three out of five. Overall, two out of ten. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh seventeen out of fifty, guys. Ryan Bacher Pilsner is crap. So, I wouldn't drink that shit. Folks, thanks for bearing with me on this. It was cold. Um, I tried to do my best for you. Um, like, subscribe. Put your comments in. I'm getting in the house. I'm freezing my ass off. See you next review.